Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to my channel. I am really excited for one of my first videos where I'm gonna walk you through how to farm Feynman Hell in under 60 seconds with decent runes and obtainable monsters. So we're gonna start with uh, Lapis, which you get in the game just for following the basic tutorial. So everyone should have this monster. And I'm gonna show you, I have her rune Despair Energy, and I'll actually make sure to show you all of those runes in a second. Uh, but we're gonna start the battle here, and I'm gonna show you why I have her runed um, Despair Energy. So what's nice about having her on Despair, as you'll see, is it does tend to stun the monsters because she has uh, multiple AoE attacks. And because she has multiple AoE attacks and she stuns, it means it cuts down the animation time that we actually have to wait to kind of be attacked. So you'll notice rather than getting attacked four times right there, I only got attacked twice uh, and that saves me time. The other thing that's nice about Lapis is that She's got that attack bar reduction third skill. So as soon as she uses her attack bar reduction third skill, it basically buys me a second turn to kind of stun more of the monsters. So I'm actually able to stun and kill several of them and kind of get through the, the actual level a lot quicker. It does usually take me a couple of hits to kill the kind of boss monster, but as you can see, uh, my time is well under 60 seconds at 49 seconds there. So um, that's... Uh, Lapis if you want to use her as a Famian Hell Farmer, and I'll show you her runes. I don't even have her runes maxed all the way, and they're only five-star runes with the exception of her uh, slot six. I just have speed, attack, attack, um, and I've got some accuracy and attack substats on here along with HP to kind of keep her sustained. So in slot one, we've got it maxed up to get that attack up and, and to get some speed, um, in slot one, we have speed, and I'll talk about what her speed needs to be in a second. Slot three, we have defense with HP substats and resistance substats. Slot four, we have attack uh, with some HP substats. Slot five, we have speed and attack substats. And then slot six, we have that uh, six-star attack rune. Um, but again, we don't have this uh, five-star max. So even if you had two maxed five stars in slot four and six, you'd be able to achieve this. Now, the reason that we have her speed in slot uh, one is that we need her speed to be over 140 to basically make sure she goes before the other monsters. Really, we want her speed to be hundred over 145, but as you can see, even being at speed 140, she still achieves it. Now, the other monster that I'll show you that actually farms a little bit quicker and is, is great is Beth. Now, Beth is fantastic, but the one drawback is that she is a five-star monster. So she's not quite as obtainable as Lapis is, but I just want to show you what she's able to do. The thing that I like about Beth is that when her... Uh, when her AI is working perfect, she actually moves through the level relatively quickly. And you'll see here that she's probably going to finish this level in about 40 seconds or so. The one thing that I don't like about Beth is her AI doesn't always trigger. So even though her gouge should have been, her second skill should have been completely restored right there, um, she didn't use it. And that happens a lot with Beth from what I've seen, right? So she just did it again. She's using her first skill instead of her second or third skill, even though they should be available based on the level. Um, but even with that happening, you'll notice that she still clears it in about 43 seconds. So again, you can use Beth or Lapis to actually clear this level pretty quickly, sub one minute. And I'll just show you her runes as well. Um, we've got speed in slot one with some attack substats because the higher the attack, the easier it's going to be for her to wipe out the monsters. Um, we have we have HP substats to keep her alive in defense, which are not preferred. I would much rather have her on attack substats here, but that was one of the runes I had available. Um, attack in slot four, uh, attack substats in slot five, and attack in slot six. And then you can see the first one there. So I'll run Beth again. Um, I actually set my record on this account with Beth by running at 
uh, 26 seconds. And you can see when she gets that eternal scar off right at the beginning and she gets that gouge out right in the second one, she's able to clear it much, much quicker. And it's down to just her and the, the main monster at the end. And she's actually able to clear it in <laughs> new record 15 seconds. So um, if you actually want to clear fame and hell, it's definitely worth you know going after Beth um, if you want to be under 30 seconds. But if you want to be under a minute, it can easily be done with lap. So um, that's what I've got for you guys today. I hope that you absolutely enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see me make as I will be making more Summoner's Wars video for you guys going forward.